Candidates usually rely on the typical door knocking and phone calls to get votes. But at least one SAS party leadership hopeful is trying another method. Ken Shevel Dayoff and his campaign team are hosting voting stations. The plan is for 40 to 50 of them over the next month. Instead of mailing in ballots or voting at the convention, registered party members can go to the station and mark their choice. They also have access to a photocopier to scan their ID. Not everybody has a photocopier at home. Uh, we find uh, especially seniors are, are very uh, thankful for the opportunity to, to have their ID uh, photocopied and to have some assistance with the ballot uh, itself. The voting stations aren't endorsed nor run by the Saskatchewan party. The party says the voting stations are allowed, but says it's comfortable with its current voting method. It's not the first time voting stations like this have popped up. They were used in the federal conservative leadership race earlier this year. Both Andrew Scheer and Maxime Bernier had their own voting stations. Scheer went on to win. Sheveldayoff says people who use the voting station don't have to choose him. He says it's about helping the democratic process. Of course, there's also a hefty incentive for candidates to lend a helping hand as the winner of the leadership race becomes the next premier. Mickey Cowan, CBC News, Regina.